They have ditches on either side, which is quite common in Belgium. I don't know how common it is in the Netherlands. Hi and welcome to another daily challenge video. Yesterday it was a custom challenge by Duskton2 and uh, unusually for a uh, custom uh, daily challenge, I did quite well. I had uh, two near perfect scores in Tunisia and uh, Singapore, a uh, very good score in uh, Japan, a uh, decent score in Canada and but then one round in uh, the US where I was quite far away. Uh, but I managed to get a silver score of 17,400 points. I am playing with no move pan and zoom. Let's see how I do today. Let's go. Okay, so there isn't a lot to go on here, but uh, we have a Burger King advert in Spanish. Uh, there's no license plate on the front of the car. Um, so I'm thinking we're most likely in uh, Puerto Rico. Almost east-west. Oh, uh, I think we are in San, uh, San Juan. Uh, so we're going a bit north. Um, we are on a dual carriage way. Uh, this road here kind of fits with the direction. I think that's a dual carriage way. Yes, it is. So uh, let's see if I can find any features on, on this road that fits with what I see. Not really. This almost fits more, but the uh, that car is going in the wrong direction for this. Yeah, I'm not sure. It could be over here as well. Even here? No, uh, not there, I think. I I'm going to guess where I put a marker and then hope. Oops. Oh, I was in the wrong city. Uh, in the right, uh, or on the right island, but uh, not in the right uh, city. Uh, right, we have a yellow number plate. Um, I'm not sure about these ditches though, uh, because uh, this car is probably from uh, the Netherlands, but we could be in Belgium as well. Uh, we have ditches on either side, which is quite common in Belgium. I don't know how common it is in the Netherlands. It could also be Luxembourg. So, not entirely sure. So this could be a car from Luxembourg. Um, and we could be in, in Belgium, it could maybe be in France, in Luxembourg as well. Uh, 
But I'm going to go Netherlands and hope I'm right. Go around, uh, around Eindhoven. Okay, it was in the Netherlands, but a bit far away. See, where is this sun here? Really hard to tell. So with all white lines, I am thinking that we are in uh, in Chile in the, and with this landscape, thinking that we are somewhere in the north. Around here. Um, I don't think we are anywhere else where you can find landscapes like this. We have uh, we have some contrails of uh, airplanes uh, as well. So we have one going north, one going south. So kind of fits with uh, fits with the directions I would expect planes to fly in South America. I think it would be mm, less likely that they fly in that direction if you look at, for instance, Mongolia. I think no, a normal direction would be more northwesterly. Yeah, no, I'm going to go uh, Chile. Okay, it was not <laughs> Mongolia. So quite far away there. I was. I close to China. Okay, uh, so this is in Singapore. This looks very similar to uh, a few rounds that we have had. Um, but we have the uh, metro here. Park to the north. Or northeast. So let's select somewhere. So, so this is a metro here, so it, it doesn't only go around this park, but I think I can probably find an area where they say park on that side. I can't see what it says there. And something that fits uh, with this road direction should be over here as well. I think there's uh, there's an overhead metro somewhere somewhere over here. It doesn't look like it goes in the uh, in the right direction. Could be around here. How to tell? I'm gonna guess there. Okay, uh, I found the right, uh, right location. Um, yeah, pretty good. A perfect score. And finally, uh, we're in Japan. There isn't really anything to tell me where in Japan this is. I don't see any phone numbers or anything. Not that I've uh, checked where the different phone numbers are uh, since the round in yesterday's uh, data challenge where we did see an 03 number.
think I'll just guess in the Tokyo area and go back. No, uh, no that was in uh, Okayama. Uh, so, bit of a mixed bag. So, perfect score in Singapore, no points in Mongolia. Decent rounds in Puerto Rico and Netherlands, and an okay round in Japan. As always, if you like these videos and would like to see some more, please consider subscribing to the channel, also hitting the like button and leaving a comment. And I shall see you again tomorrow for another daily challenge. Bye for now.